What is good, y'all? Serial Films here. Before we get started with this video, fire is clear. There's nothing in the mag. We are in a safe environment. So as you guys can see by the title, man, we do got the G22 back on the channel. So if y'all remember a couple months back, maybe last year of towards Christmas time, I went ahead and bought this G22 MOS and I went ahead and th threw a bunch of uh, tire and CNC parts on it. And I honestly, not trying to talk down or anything, but I feel like whenever I added the trigger and the extended slide release and, and the mag release all right here, I feel like that kind of made me lose interest in the gun for some reason. Like adding all the blue kind of made me, um, not really like it. It kind of looked like, like a bunch of you guys are saying, like a little Lego or some. I kind of started seeing that, and it threw me off. I kind of just put this down, didn't pick it back up. So I really ended up just busting it out the safe because I had issues mounting this to my dagger. So I went ahead and just they sent uh, MOS plates to be able to mount it to the Glock. So I went ahead and busted the G22 out, and I was like, something's missing. So that's why. When I went ahead and took off the blue on there, the blue accents, I feel like that's what was missing and it made the gun just, made the gun look good again. Honestly, I feel like sometimes adding mods could actually just make your aesthetics look ugly. And in, in my case, I feel like that's what happened to me. The trigger, the slide release, and the mag release were all just too much for me, the blue. So that's why I ended up just leaving the extended mag. So yeah, like I said, I did buy this G22 sometime last summer, I believe. Um, was supposed to pick up a G47, but when I was there, the... The 40 was just, it was just hard to resist. I, I hadn't had a, a gun for, chambered in 40 yet, so picking this up was nice because, I mean, I was picking up another Glock, and the Glock that I was picking up, I never had an MOS one either, so I was picking up an MOS Glock and 40, so that's kind of what made me lean towards picking up the 22 Gen 5. But, um, yeah, man, this thing has been good. This has probably been, like, the first 500 rounds that it's been through, and uh, it's ran good. This has been one of my uh, Glocks that I ran a little bit more expensive stuff on. Um, I run, like spear gold dots on through here that i've ran and i ran some uh pmc bronze or pnc whatever it's called i'm not too sure because i'm usually a blazer guy yeah i know terrible for the guns but i'm usually a blazer guy buy the cheapest stuff and um this has kind of been running the more pricier stuff that i usually wouldn't buy but i uh have been just just been buying the 40 whenever i get to my range i just buy a box or two there locally and then i just proceed but yeah with the rfx 45 this thing has ran flawless um last time i was in my range session i only had about 100 rounds to run through it but uh it did run those 100 rounds flawlessly at 50 yards and this is it still needs to be zeroed it's just a rough zero out of the box um i didn't mess with it too much but um it was hitting some of those shots at 50 yards like i said i feel like the ones that i didn't pull that i didn't hit were the ones where i was jerking on the trigger too much so um yeah let me know what you guys think about this g22 man um i'm so happy to have it back i can't believe i got rid of my tlr1 we'll have another tlr1 here on the way and uh yeah man i'm keeping it pretty much like this only thing i have plans on doing is doing the oem glock extended uh, slide release up here and uh possibly a ghost connector inside because i i just got so used to it with my g19 gen 4 and yeah that'll probably probably be all i i will be running this dot on here just like this honestly it it i have no issue with it and like i said let me go ahead and show you guys something real quick so that's part of the reason why i always will have these oem iron sights on this g22 is because that optic can come off almost instantly and your plate is still on there and you go straight back to iron so that is that is something real cool and i probably will always have these because of that reason because i've tried various you know trijicon Mary Glow. I've tried a bunch of Glock sites and the best ones, believe it or not, joking or not, whatever you guys think, I'm the best with these OEM, you know, the, the field goal post. I'm the best with this. So yeah, I won't be doing sites on this. I didn't do no sites on my Gen 4 and I shoot that thing perfectly fine. So yeah, that, that's one of the cool features of the RFX 45 is you could just take it off of your, you know, your pistol and just go ahead and throw it on a shotgun, on a PCC. That is super, super convenient, especially whenever you're on the run, you know what I'm saying? And all you need is really a tool to do all of this. So typically I usually build out my builds to be however, you know, whatever I envision, but I think I'm gonna do a community build with this one. So let me know if I should run a trigger shoe on here. And if y'all, if I get enough of y'all commenting a certain trigger shoe, I probably might recommend throwing one in there. Um, the TLR1 will probably be the light. Um, if you guys have any other light suggestions, let me know and I might consider them. But yeah, that's pretty much all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build this out with you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and be doing this, you know, weekly updates. I will be getting this custom serocoded coded here soon. I saw a gun on Call of Duty and it just inspired my, you know, my mind, my thoughts to um, do something crazy on here like that. So uh, yeah, not sure if I'm going to be doing stippling yet. Um, if I do do stippling on here, I'll probably be doing the exact same pattern, the golf ball stippling that my 19 Gen 4 has. 
so i'll probably just be taking it to the same dude to go ahead and do that so um yeah not too much plans for this build um if y'all have any any uh, suggestions for anything i mean there's a plain jane black glock um i believe right here in the back i'll probably do a train with purpose uh back plate you know i've been seeing a lot of this stuff they have some pretty nice stuff maybe some of their mag extensions who knows but let me know what y'all want to see with this g22 the next time i go to the range i'll go ahead and buy some ammo and i'll go ahead and you know drop a video on this specifically to show you guys how this shoots so yeah be on the lookout for part two of this video and um yeah the g22 build is officially underway